This is 6-4, factoring polynomials with special forms. It's MA.912.AR.3.8. We're going to factor the difference of two squares, factor a polynomial completely, identify and factor perfect square trinomials, and factor the sum or difference of two cubes. Some formulas you need to remember, if you see a squared minus b squared, that breaks down to a plus b, a minus b. If you see a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, that's a plus b times an a plus b, or known as a plus b front c squared. If we see a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, that breaks down into a minus b times another a minus b, or a minus b closed squared. If we see a cubed plus b cubed, which is our sum of cubes. This is a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And then a cubed minus b cubed, which is our difference of cubes, is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Notice the difference between these two. When it's positive sums, the first parentheses is positive, and then the middle term is negative. When it's difference, the first term is a minus sign, and then the middle piece is a positive. So in example one, it says x squared minus 3, 36. This is following the difference of squares portion, which says it breaks down into a plus b, a minus b. So what we do is you're gonna take the square root of both pieces, and then you're gonna write plus minus x squared split the powers. So if it's a power of two, it splits into two pieces, two x's individually. If it's a power of four, then you're gonna go x squared, x squared. Square root of 36 is six, so I'm gonna write positive six and negative six, and we're finished. On the next one, it's another difference of squares. It says x squared minus four over 25. It's just a fraction. So basically you're taking the square root of the numerator and denominator. So again, we see a plus minus situation. Power of 2 is the x, so I'm going to write plain x's. Square root of 4 is a 2, and square root of 25 is a 5. I'm going to write 2 fifths and negative 2 fifths. When we come to the next one, example C, it says x plus 1 squared minus 4. So you need to first match them up. So you're going to rewrite it to say x plus 1 squared minus a 2 squared. Because this one has an x plus one in it, not a plain x, I'm gonna use a different variable. I'm gonna say that the letter A is gonna represent x plus one. And the reason I do that is so that we can do substitution. So I see a squared minus my four now. Two squared just became the four. Now I can do difference of squares. I'm gonna write plus minus. We're gonna write a, a, Two, two. But a was not part of our problem. A represents x plus one. So I'm now going to write x plus one back in for the a value. So I'm going to say x plus one plus two, x plus one minus two. And then you finalize it. One plus two is three, so I see x plus three. Positive one minus two is negative one, so x minus one, and then we're factored. Example two says, a hammer is dropped from the roof of a, a building. The height and feet of the hammer is given by the expression negative 16 t squared plus 64, where t is the time in seconds. For part A, they want us to factor the expression and then B, find how many seconds does it take the hammer to fall to a height of 41 feet. So the first thing we're gonna tackle is part A. On A, they told us negative 16 T squared plus 64. So first thing, I'm gonna factor out, I don't like that negative 16 in the beginning, so I'm gonna factor out a six, negative 16, and it becomes negative 16 parentheses T squared, well 64 divided by 16 is negative four. So now I see negative 16 times T plus two, T minus two. And then remember, so that's the first part. So now they want us, so we know that it's gonna hit its peak at either negative two seconds or positive two seconds. Well, obviously two seconds needs to be a unit of measurement, so it needs to be positive. Part B says, after how many seconds does it take the hammer to fall to a height of 41 feet? 
So now for part B, you're gonna say height equals negative 16t squared plus 64, because we already know that. But it says it wants to go to a height of 41 feet, so our h is 41 equals negative 16 t squared plus 64. We're gonna move the um, 41 over because I wanna set it equal to zero. So I'm gonna say zero equals negative 16 t squared, um, 64 minus 41 is 23. Now, because it looks like we're gonna have decimal answers, I'm gonna use quadratic formula. So in this instance, the A is gonna be negative 16, and the B is gonna be zero, and the C is going to be 23. Remember, the T value is your B value. So now we're gonna find the time value. The time equals negative B over 2A. I'm using our vertex point values from previous lessons. So we know that's zero here over two A is our time. So we're gonna find our using the quadratic formula. It's gonna be zero plus or minus square root of zero, obviously squared minus four times negative 16 times 23 over two times negative 16. So we have obviously zero plus anything is zero. So square root of Negative 4 times negative 16, that is 64, times 23 is 1472 inside the radical, divided by negative 32. Remember that because it's falling, you're going to do the absolute value of your answer. So we're going to do second square root of our answer. divided by negative 32. So right now we're sitting at negative 1.198, but you're gonna do the absolute value of it. So it comes out to be 1.198 seconds. Example three wants us to factor 20 X cubed minus five X. First thing, we're gonna look for a GCF. So they both are factors of five and X. So 5x comes out, and then we become 4x squared minus 1. We're not done yet because now, so the first thing we did is GCF. The second part right here is difference of squares. So we come plus minus situation. Because we're taking the square root of 4 and 1. So we come 2x, 2x, 1, 1, and then we're factored. Example four, they want us to factor completely. It says x to the fourth minus 16. Again, notice that two terms, so we're looking at difference of squares. So we're taking the square root of both pieces. Again, you're gonna go plus minus. Now here though, it's a power of four. So I'm gonna write x squared, x squared. 16 becomes a four and a four. When we come to here, x squared plus four is completely done. So that does not become anything else, it slides down. But this one, the second one is difference of squares. So we have to go to another plus minus. That means x, x square root of 4 is 2, 2. So there would be our answer for that one. On B, it says 48x to the fourth minus 3. First thing we need is a GCF. So we're going to take out 3 out of both of them. So we become 3 on the outside, 16x to the 4 minus 1. Now I have to do difference of squares. So three still here. We are a plus minus. Square root of 16 is four X squared because it's a power of four to split my powers. Square root of one is still one. When we get to this point, 
four x squared plus one cannot do anything else. So that's gonna slide, three is gonna come down and the first polynomial is gonna slide down. The second one again is difference of squares. So we need to go to a plus minus situation. Square root of four is two x, two x, where the one is one and one. So our final answer is three times four x squared plus one, two x plus one, two x minus one. This next one will represent examples five to eight. Notice it says we have three terms. Factors of nine are three. 24 is three and eight. 16 is four and two. So this one and eight. So this one is not gonna factor out as is. So when we come to it, we look at our numbers here, beginning and middle, end. Those are perfect squares. So think of this as being ax squared minus two ab. So a squared minus two ab plus b squared. The reason I did this is because if I look at a squared instead equal to 9x squared. A and take the square root of both sides. A is equal to 3x. If I say b squared equals 16y squared and take the square root of both sides. B is the same thing as saying 4y. So this is using... So three times four is 12, doubled is our 24. And the way I know that is if I do two AB equaling the 24 XY, divide by two, I get A times B is 12 XY. Well, A times B is three X times four Y, which is 12 XY. So for this problem, it just becomes a bubble of A minus B times A minus B. So we see 3X minus 4Y times another 3X minus 4Y. Or you can say 3X minus 4Y squared. In example nine, it says y cubed plus 27. The first indication is the power of three. When it's a power of three and there's two terms with a plus, this is sum of cubes, which is a cubed plus b cubed. And it had a formula at the beginning. It said it's a plus b times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. So in order to get to this setup right here, we need to first identify what A and B is. So you're gonna rewrite this as Y in parentheses to the power of three plus a number raised to the power of three that gives you 27 is three. So this in the inside is our A, this on the inside is our B. So A is represented by Y and B is represented by the letter, the number three. If we have our formula, all we have to do is substitute in. So I'm gonna say y plus three, and then it goes a squared, so y squared minus a times b. Well, y times three, three y, plus b squared, b is a three, so b three squared is a nine, and you are factored. Um, B it says 2x cubed minus 16. First off, I see the power of 3, but 16 is not a perfect cube. So the first thing we need to pull out of here is a GCF. So I'm factoring out a 2. So a 2 comes out and I get x cubed minus 8. So now I see power of 3, a minus sign, and a power in 8. So this is following the a cubed minus b cubed which means a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared based off the first page notes. 
So we need to identify our pieces. So I'm still a two. This is gonna be x raised to a power of three minus something that's raised to a power of three that gives you eight, that's number two. So the a and our b. So the a is the number, is the letter x, and the b is the number two. And for this problem, we also had a GCF, so we can't get rid of it. So we're gonna have two times a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So now we're gonna substitute in two. a minus b, x minus two. a squared, so x squared plus a times b, so two times x plus b squared, so two squared is a four. And then you're factored.